Hi, brethren. Real quickly, I want to, hopefully they won't take this down, but it, it wouldn't be the first time it's been known to happen to me before. Uh, I want to go ahead and further talk about the word that the Most High gave me. Um, this is a serious warning. And if I don't get many views, I understand that. Um, but if you could please share the word that I received from the Most High, meaning um, please uh, give testimony that Holy Spirit verified it and that um, it was spoken so that um, those that are um, wondering, you know, are we approaching great tribulation? Are we approaching it? Are we in it? The Most High gave his warning in the word that I gave. So Without the repentance, it's just like it uh, says in the scriptures that all flesh would die. There'd be no flesh that make it if the days weren't shortened. The Most High has given a warning. So I want to entitle this. Um, you see the title. It says, Vaccines are a sore in Yahuwah's eye. In his eyes. Not his eye, his eyes. Not one, but plural. Reason is... The vaccines, even the test, so the test goes up here into the eye, back of the eye, right? The canal, nasal canal. The vaccine in the arm or wherever they're putting it in the arm is a sore to the most high. A sore gets scabby. A sore hurts. Job had boils. The devil brought that sickness to Job. So imagine Yahuwah, Most High, Elohim, saying, Vaccines are a sore in my eyes. The Most High is perfect, creator of all creation. He doesn't like sores because he don't create that wicked stench, that wicked stink. I want you to please go back and really hear this because for those that are asleep, like right now, I'm at a Walmart. I had to pull up to Walmart. So we have a serious issue here with drugs um, in the city. I don't usually reside in the city, um, but at times I am here. Um, and I used to be here about four times a week. Um, before my separation. So um, I want to say this, that my marital separation. Um, and so I want to say this, that zombie-like demons, so what they're doing now is they're taking over streets. They're breaking glass and putting furniture on the main streets. This main street has been kind of a street of all type of paraphernalia, prostitution, everything in the past. It's been cleaned up, but it's still bad now. A lot of people living in their vehicles and things. Um, so it's not um, the suburbs or anything like that. It's completely um, drug infested, demon infested. Um, I haven't asked, the Most High hasn't asked me to cleanse this land. It actually just has to go rot. It's, it's just done. It has to rot. It's going to be just done. So this part of the state I'm in, I have a huge yellow jacket. <laughs> yeah, these yellow jackets, they smell light. <laughs> the bees are fine, but the yellow jackets aren't. Um, yellow jackets, they do bite. I can talk to the bees, but the, not the yellow jackets. So um, just because they're stingers. So anyway, let me get back on topic. I apologize because it's such a serious topic. Um, so I just had come down a street, went down a street, side street I hadn't been on in, in years and they're just all camped out on the side and gentleman was making his well a guy was making his uh, i say gentleman because there's still respect not everybody has lost their mind they're just in their situation i've lived in my car so it's not a big deal what i'm saying is um and and the most high told me to leave my family's house and, and to go ahead and do this he provided the car this is what it is so um off and on this is just how it's been for about three to four months now so I'm saying this to say that 
things are going down in the world and these these folks are really kind of taking it to a point where they're sickly their mind is gone they walk down the street almost pretty much naked um, sometimes with a lot of clothes, sheets, they scream. I just heard somebody speaking to the same demon schizophrenia, uh, tongue that that girl was speaking in the laundromat the other day that I made a video on. Um, so I heard the schizophrenic voice. I heard the, the child voice. There was no child with this man. He was just a bus stop screaming. So demons are now, <sighs> demons are now speaking out loud. I can hear them. So it's kind of frustrating. Um, and they're just terrorizing. They're burning up their cars. They're stealing cars, burning them up, setting them on fire um, near the airport, and then um, taking off their own wheels and things. They're just they're trying to renew things, but they never renew it. It's like a spirit of disorganization um, messes with the like wants to fix up the car and take it apart. And then after they've gotten themselves correct, they realize they shouldn't have done it or that they cannot afford to fix it. Whatever it is, whatever demon of just disorganization, disarray, um, is just really out here. So, but so to get back to this, so things are just really chaotic and once these full vaccinated cards and, and these approvals and this approval to go here and there, it's going to make it harder. They do have porta potties like they have um, toiletry all over the city in different areas where somebody can use a restroom. But again, these people are taking the restroom, the, the um, outhouse and just making it their own for like 20 people there. It's just it's a mess. I would never want to live here. I, I don't move and live in this city again. Portland um, would not be for me. Um, Washington wouldn't allow it. California is going down. Um, Idaho, they're keeping on track. Utah's got some own issues, but it's beautiful there. It's hot. It's beautiful. So you have to move around. Most guys telling me to move around. He's going to be having me go to different states as well. Like he's just has me moving around, um, for specific reasons right now. So I, I don't want to leave the car too long out here because it's not the best, um, Walmart. It's not the best situation, but I need to come here to go to another suburb area that I'm going to, um, for the rest of the day to do some work and some things. So, um, that is why I'm here, but it, you know, when you're dealing with crackheads, methamphetamine users, um, heroin addicts in this part of the city, it's pretty bad. Um, I like to go up to the mountains where it's beautiful. The waterfalls are there and everything. So, um, there's many parts to these states that you can enjoy if you can get around. But right now, as I'm saying, the Most High saying without repentance, great tribulation is coming. And the word that he gave me specified that. So let us not be like sloth and, and slithery and um, slow about speaking um, and not, not doing what we need to do um, and get where we have to go. Let's not be that way. Um, let's make sure we're doing what we need to do to get where we have to go. Um, but again, I am concerned with a few people in this parking lot. I've ha thought about having to call on um, Archangel Gabriel. It's been very, um, it's enlightening today. Just, I would never, I don't know, I wouldn't want to go back to the dark side <laughs> at all. No darkness. I just, who wants to live like that? I want to live in Christ. I want Christ within my temple, I want my garment clean. I, I enjoy serving my heavenly father. So I wouldn't see it any other way. So it's a time to choose the wheat from the tares. It is time. The tares, I mean the wheat from, it's just harvest time, wheat from the barley. I mean, we really have to be extra, extra with our lamps, extra with what we're doing, extra with truth and light, discernment, wisdom. I mean, so much is about to happen. The Most High is not playing. He's not playing with these nations you nations are in for it you just won't repent you won't tell the truth you keep lying in politics you keep lying to the people you're liars deceivers your revelation 222 
you're about to see it in the flesh, in the natural, because Yahuwah Most High has had it past here with you. He's had it. And Fauci, you might want to repent, period. You might want to repent. Gates, repent. Biden, repent. And all the other staff, and all the Republican and Democrats, you're all the same. Repent. China, repent. NWO, repent. The GOP, all the, all the, these world actions, repent. Your time is up. Babylon will fall and is falling. And it's going to be fully taking place. And New York is big. Kumo, repent. 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 The way you treat people like animals, most I don't like that you're trying to force on his children, his saints, those that could be spending time with Yahushua, you're taking us way too far. And I'm telling you, that mark, that beast you're trying to feed, that mark, that symbolism, the system, the matrix, most High's not playing with you all anymore. He never was. He allowed you to have time. He's tired of seeing it. His cup runneth over with wrath for you. So I'm letting you know, nations, 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 your time is up. And the harlot, many will be crying. Look at that great city. It's fallen. Babylon the great has fallen. And the 144, the Most High's remnant will rise. We are being assigned. And believe me, we are strong warriors. Our sword goes strong. Leave us alone. Stay away from our homes. We serve a mighty father. We serve Yahuwah, the father of Israel. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the father of those, those tribes. So understand those children, understand all of us. The bride of Christ. Believe me, we have angels with us, and we're not putting up with it. We stand behind Yahusha. Christ, we follow his light, his word of truth. We will stomp on scorpions, and we will stomp on snakes. And you're all, you're just snakes in the grass. We see you. We see you. Yahuwah, his eyes are sick of the vaccines and the sores. Make it right. Repent and stop the rest of this foolishness. The devil knows this time is short. You Luciferians, you horse worshiping wickedness, we already know who the uh, Antichrist pretty much is. Come on. I've seen many of you in visions Obama and Oprah and everybody else, Beyonce, Alia. So just repent. And you have the opportunity and the chance to make that part right. Now, I cannot say you won't reach hell. You may be in a different part of hell. Maybe not in the worst. But I've walked through hell. And let me tell you, I don't want to go where you might go. Period. It's your heart condition. Change it. You have a, ha a chance to change your satanic ways. You have a chance to change your satanic ways. So this is to the nations. This is also to uh, my platform and everyone else. I ask the Holy Spirit to protect and cover this, cover this word here so that no hands can touch it. YouTube cannot change, change it or touch it. Hallelujah. But I suggest all of you nations, all of you out there, us that are speaking prophetically and given, giving you word that the Most High is speaking into our spirit and we're translating for you in English, I'm not scared of you at all. But you will be if you don't repent. So I'm letting you know it's a warning. Nations need to repent. And they need to repent quickly. With 
that being said, which again, you all also want your new world order to just keep on and new systems and controlling the masses. You want that to happen. So you wouldn't think there's anything wrong. I just saw 513. If you only knew, you guys have all this numerology and you go through the back door witchcraft, but if you knew what that really represented, those numbers to the most high in Hebrew, your time is limited. Satan, your time is very limited and you know it. So I would suggest the Holy Word's going to play out, not play out, excuse me, the Holy Word is going to happen the way it happens, but all you guys' chess little moves are going to play out the way the Most High says they are. He's had it up to here. His cup runneth over for wrath for you. Repent, nations. Repent. 